Good evening, everyone. I'm Cami Deerkey. And I'm Brad Johansson. A 70-year-old woman is abducted and drugged in West Price Hill. Tonight, Cincinnati police want your help to find the man who attacked her. Local 12's Megan Mangello is live at District 3, where investigators are working to find the attacker. Megan. Well, Cammie and Brad, a lieutenant here at District 3 says this is a bizarre case that they're taking very seriously. It started out as a missing persons investigation, and then police say it turned into a 70 year old woman abducted. This abandoned home on Rapid Run Road is where a 70 year old woman missing for hours was found. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Don Locke says they were first called by the woman's daughter who said her mom never returned from a morning walk. So we had a large number of personnel looking for her right away, checking uh, her, her location she might be headed to, checking the path she may have taken. Lieutenant Locke said she disappeared about 8 Monday morning. Nearly 12 hours later, they got another call from her family saying she was safe. Eventually, she contacted her stepson and um, she was located. What happened? The victim told her neighbors, Della and George Preston, that a man grabbed her around the waist and dragged her down the driveway behind a boarded up home. I told her to open her mouth and she said, no, I'm not going to. So he forced it open and sprayed this stuff in her mouth. And it wasn't long that she went out and she didn't know nothing else. Della says her friend is the nicest lady and was very shaken up. She was found in the weeds behind the house. Police say she appeared confused and kept asking what time it was. He didn't even take the cell phone. He left it. But who knows, maybe he thought he, he put enough drugs in her to kill her. And he was looking for money to begin with. Well, luckily she did have that cell phone. It had been turned off all day because her family and police had been calling it and it went straight to voicemail. So when she woke up, she turned the phone back on and called her family. From the spot she was found, she was taken to the hospital to be checked out. She is doing all right. At this point, police say they are looking at DNA evidence and also surveillance cameras in the area to try and catch that suspect. Live at District 3 headquarters, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. What a terrifying experience, Megan. Thank you. That suspect, by the way, is described as a white man in his 40s, bald with a large build. He was wearing a hat, white shirt, khaki pants, and apparently he had some type of scarf that was wrapped around his face.